Jackie Robinson was born Jack Roosevelt Robinson on January 31, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. Raised in poverty by his single mother, Mally, Robinson was the youngest of five children. Being the only black family on their block, they faced prejudice that only drew them closer together. From an early age, it was clear to see Jackie's athletic talents, mostly inspired by his older brother, Matthew. He attended John Murr High School in Pasadena Junior College, where he excelled in baseball, football, basketball, and track. His athletic abilities earned him the region's MVP for baseball in 1938. When at the University of California in Los Angeles, Jackie became the first athlete to win varsity letters in four sports, baseball, basketball, football, and track. He was named to the All-American football team in 1941, but had to leave UCLA due to financial difficulties. After leaving UCLA, Jackie decided to enlist in the United States Army, where he served for two years as a second lieutenant. But because of Jackie's objections to racial discrimination, he was forced to leave the Army on an honorable discharge. Jackie began playing professional baseball when he joined the Kansas City Monarchs, a Negro League team, in 1945. That same year, Jackie was approached by Brooklyn Dodgers Vice President Branch Rickey with an opportunity to play Major League Baseball with the Brooklyn Dodgers organization. Give me a contract with the team. Contract? You want to know about contracts with this team? Yes. Say, fellas. This man wants to know about contracts. A contract? Fix you right up with the information. Yes, sir. Contract. Tell him about that, boy. You want a contract with the Panthers? The first thing you got to do is borrow some money from the boss. Then you know you got a job until he gets paid back. If you can get in the lane, you to get us. Yeah, and you got to keep your eye on the grandstand. When you got a good day and a good crowd, that's a good time to hit him up. You owe him a week's salary. That means you got a one-week contract. When you want for two, that means you got a two-week contract, sir. Awesome. Okay, you guy. Let's get up and get out of the pen and get a little work. Come on. He joined the Montreal Royals, the Brooklyn Dodgers all-white farm team, in 1945 and moved to Florida in 1946 to begin spring training. Being the only African-American player on the team, it was no surprise that Jackie faced numerous instances of racial abuse during these games. However, Jackie endured. It would be April 15, 1947 when Jackie Robinson would make his Major League debut, breaking the color barrier and changing the course of baseball history forever. Of course, with this achievement still came the rough harassment and discrimination. Most of it came from the Philadelphia Phillies, even some of his own teammates. But Dodgers manager and Hall of Famer Leo DeRocher said that he would sooner trade them than Jackie. Along with the constant heckling of crowds and fellow major leaguers, some stood by Jackie, including baseball commissioner Happy Chandler, Jewish superstar Hank Greenberg, as well as his own team captain Pee Wee Reese. In one historic incident, Jackie was being heckled by fans in the stands when his teammate Reese walked over and put his arm around Jackie. This would live down as one of the most historic incidents in baseball history. Robinson was able to convince everyone of his true athletic capabilities. In his first year, he managed to achieve 12 home runs as well as the National League pennant for the Dodgers. He led the league in stolen bases and was named Rookie of the Year. Success continuously followed Jackie throughout his major league career as he achieved a 342 batting average in 1949. That same year, Robinson was selected as National League MVP. The Dodgers would win the pennant once more with Robinson's help in 1956. After the conclusion of the 56th season, Robinson was traded to the New York Giants, but he would never play again as he announced retirement from baseball on January 5, 1957. Well, now, my friends, I would like to tell you about our next guest, and I'd like to tell you about who is standing behind that curtain. First of all, we have a man who holds a national junior college broad jumping record of 25 feet, 6 and 1 quarter inches. Then we have a fellow who was the state tennis champion of his division in California. Then a young man who was ping pong champion of his troop in the Army. We also have a fellow who was an All-American football player at UCLA. I'm also going to introduce a basketball player who led Pacific Coast Conference in scoring for two consecutive years, 1940-1941. I also want you to meet a fellow who shot a 71 in golf just a few days ago. Now, will all of you champion athletes please come out and meet our audience? Can you come out, please? This is all 
of those fellows who I mentioned, and of course has played a little baseball in his time too, Jackie Robinson. Mr. Robinson will allow you to ask him any questions you want about anything you'd like to know from him. Uh, Jackie, frankly speaking, to what extent was the fact that you were traded to the Giants a factor in your decision to retire? It had absolutely nothing to do with my decision. I had signed a contract with Mr. Black uh, 10 minutes before I knew that I had been traded. So the trade had absolutely nothing to do with my decision. Mr. Black is the gentleman who's with the restaurant chain. He is the president of Chock Full of Nuts. Yeah. We're out of time. A million thanks to you for being with us tonight. I'm sure that everyone agrees with me when I say we wish you nothing but the best of luck on a very courageous decision. Throughout his career, Robinson was outspoken about civil rights and equality for blacks. In 1952, he called the New York Yankees a racial organization, as they had not yet broken the color barrier five years after Jackie began his major league career. His involvement in the cause grew even stronger after his announcement of retirement. He became an executive for the Chock Full of Nuts Coffee Company, served on the board of the NAACP, and even helped establish the Freedom National Bank. Jackie was finally recognized for his achievements when he became the first African-American baseball player to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. Panel, may I remind you please, it will be one question at a time. I'll give you three minutes to try and establish the identity of our mystery guest. Are you a member of the sports world? Yes. Are you a player? Yes. If it's a warm sport, sir, could we safely say that it's baseball? Yes. Well, you were a famous player, right? Very. Yeah. Right, were you? We got to throw in the towel. Take off your blindfolds oh, no, and see Jackie Robinson. Oh, <laughs> but you haven't left baseball altogether, have you? Well, not completely. So I'm very happy with the fact that well I'm I've joined a, a group that's going to work with kids next year and try to train them in learning more about baseball and it's a clinic that we're going to have at Adelphi College and I, I think this is going to be something that's going to be rewarding to me because we're going to try to work with youngsters who could possibly develop into major league ball players. Jackie Robinson died from complications of diabetes and heart problems on October 24, 1972. He was survived by his wife Rachel and his two children. His uniform number 42 was retired by the Dodgers that same year. On April 15, 1997, 50 years after Robinson's major league debut, his number 42 was retired across the entire league, marking the first time this ever occurred in any of the four major sports. Even today, Jackie's name and legacy continues to live on and inspire new generations of baseball players and athletes everywhere. The pictures are so vivid, the memories are so clear. A little boy on the edge of the seat with his father sitting near, talking about the glory of those who lost and won. There was Manson Mays, DiMaggio, and Mr. Robinson. Manson Mays, DiMaggio, and Mr. Robinson. Now it seems that life is like a constant strain. You know it beats you down, it brings you tears and pain. It takes all your strength to make it That was handed down from father to his son Helped to teach of courage, Jackie Robinson